For practice it, self-check 1.2 binary 1, we need to convert each of the following decimal numbers into its equivalent binary number. To do this, we are going to do the division method. There's also a subtraction method, but for me, the division method is easier. So first, we are going to look at our first decimal, which is 6. And in here, we're going to take our number 6, divide it by 2, and this is going to give us 3. And then we are going to note that we don't have any remainders here. So we are just going to put a 0 right here. We're going to take our 3 and divide it by 2. And this is going to give us the whole number of 1. And this leaves us with 1 remainder. Now we're going to take 1 divided by 2. And that is going to give us the remainder. Or it's going to give us um, the value 0. But that has the remainder of 1. So for number 6, our answer is just going to be 1, 1, 0. Next, we have the number 44, and to do this, we have our 44, like this. We are going to divide it by 2, and that's going to give us 22. We don't have a remainder here, so we are just going to write 0. Next, um, we're going to take our 22, divide it by 2, and that's going to give us 11. We don't have a remainder here either, so we're just going to be left with a 0. We have our 11, we're going to take it and divide it by 2, that's going to give us a 5. We have a remainder here, which is 1. Next, we're going to take our 5 and divide it by 2, that's going to give us a 2, and we're left with the remainder 1 here as well. We're going to take our 2, divide it by 2, and that's going to give us 1, and we have no remainder here, our remainder is 0. Next, we take our 1, divide it by 2, that's going to give us 0 with a remainder of 1. So our answer here is just going to be 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. For 72, we are going to take this, divide it by 2, and that gives us 36. We have no remainder here, so we are going to put 0. We're going, then going to take our 36, divide it by 2, that's going to give us 18. We have no remainder again, so this is also 0. We are going to take our 18, then divide it by 2, this is going to give us 9, with a remainder of 0. We are going to take our 9, divide it by 2, and that's going to give us 4, with a remainder of 1. Next, we are going to take our 4, divide it by 2, and that's going to give us 2 with a 0 remainder. Then we take 2 divided by 2. It's going to give us 1 with a 0 remainder. And lastly, we are going to take our 1 divided by 2, and that's going to give us 0 with 1 remainder. So our answer for 72 is 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. Lastly, we have the number 131. For this, we are going to take our 131 and divide it by 2. We're going to see that this gives us 65 with the remainder 1. Next, we are going to take our 65 and divide it by 2. This is basically 64 divided by 2, and that's going to give us 32 with a remainder of 1. We're going to take our 32, divide it by 2, and this is going to give us 16 with the remainder of 0. Then we take our 16, divide it by 2, and this gives us 8. There's no remainder here, so that's 0. And then we have 8 divided by 2, which is equal to 4. So no remainder here again. And then our 4 divided by 2, which is equal to 2. And we have no remainder, and then our 2 divided by 2, which is equal to 1, so there's no remainder. And then we have 1 divided by 2, which is equal to 0, with 1 remainder. So our answer is going to be 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1.
when we do these problems, the way we do it is we start from our original number up here, and then we go down our list. Once we hit the um, 1, and we have nothing else to divide by, once we hit 0, then we look at this number right here, and that's going to be our first number right here. And we start writing the numbers in this order, from bottom to top. 